Hey, it's me, Jocelyn, and I wanted to show you how I made my costume for this year's Coney Island Mermaid Parade. This year, I went as a lionfish mermaid. So there's me as a lionfish mermaid. There's a real lionfish, me, lionfish, huh, huh? I started with some fabric that I got at my local fabric store. So we have some beautiful pinks and reds and some elastics and some embellishments. So I like to start by making my tail. And this fabric that I bought had some sequins sewn in already in kind of a stripey pattern, which made it great for the lionfish because they have so many stripes. But I wanted some depth, so I painted some extra stripes on there with a little ombre effect between the sequins. Next, I sewed on some strips of that red glitter fabric uh, onto the tail, and I just put an elastic in the waistband just so that it could be like a regular skirt you would wear with a slit up the front. I try to make my tails a little bit comfortable to wear. Next, I made the fins that were gonna be sprouting off all over the rest of the costume. So I took some floral wire, and I had this old curtain that I had bought at a yard sale, and I bent the wire in these kind of little finny looking shapes and I cut fabric out of the curtain that I didn't need and I cut them to the shape that I bent the wire to. So I, you can see I made them in kind of size order, so largest to smallest. And then I just used some hot glue, my best friend hot glue, and I glued the fabric right onto the wire, easy peasy. Next, I wanted them to also have the stripes like the lionfish, so I took the same paint and I painted stripes right on each one of those babies. Now, this is in fast motion. This one thing that you're looking at took me half an hour. Um, so you can imagine, I can't remember exactly how many fins I had overall, but it was a lot of fins um, and they all had to take time to dry. So the whole costume took me over a week to make. While those were drying, I took a break to make my arm fins. I used some red stretchy elastic and sewed it onto this other glittery fabric that I had bought. I was very happy with how that came out. Now, once the little fins were dry, I took some more of that red sparkly fabric and just cut little strips out and again, just hot glued it right on. None of this is fancy. It just takes time and a little patience and, and I just love this kind of tedious detail work. You can see me trimming the ends there to make sure the edges are nice and clear. And I glued a little cardboard to the bottom so that they could stand up straight on the shoulders. Take a little break to admire my mess and see how satisfying they look with the glitter stripe with the paint ombre. It gives it just a little bit more depth and I just loved how they came out. So there I go, trim, 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 fin, 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 mermaid, 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 fin, fin, fin. I'm having an amazing time. I'm very excited about my progress. At some point I decided I needed a head wrap because that will help me focus. So once I was done with all the little fins, then it was time to assemble the shoulder piece. So the shoulder piece was literally just made out of cardboard. And you can see that I'm standing the fins up on the table on this kind of cardboard epaulette that I had made. Um, it was very flimsy, but it was gonna do the trick. So I used some of the extra stretchy red glittery elastic to hold it on and it kind of was shaped kind of like a backpack. Um, if you can imagine like how you would put on a backpack, that's kind of how I made it work. So there it is, the shoulder piece. And I adorned it with some more glittery fabric and some more of that beautiful trim that I got from the fabric store. I just loved how it looked on the table standing up. It was so satisfying. And there it is on my dress form, which I was like, oh my gosh, this thing is so huge. <laughs> I didn't even realize how huge it was until I put it on the dress form, but it was a big boy. So now the matter of the wig. And now the wig was the thing that inspired this whole costume. I found this wig for $2 at a thrift store and I saw it and I was like, huh, this will be great for the mermaid parade. So I Googled red fish and came up with a lionfish and I was like, oh, that, I'm doing that. So there is the finished wig. I inserted the fins in there and I added some extra adornment, of course, some pearls and some trim and some flowers. I just love how this came out. There's a little zoom out of the studio in a big, giant, messy pile heap. And then on the train, off we go to Coney Island and ta-da, we are a mermaid. I have to say thank you to my husband for helping me get my costume on before I got on the train and off I went. And I was so happy with how this came out. At the last minute, I ended up deciding to cut slits in the fins that I had elastic onto my arms um, and I just thought it looked so much more like a lionfish that way. It moved like a lionfish would move 
and I just felt so good. I felt so powerful, so beautiful, so sexy, and an awesome time meeting all of the other mermaids and seeing their costumes and asking them how they made what they were wearing. I'm just always so impressed by how creative everyone is. It's incredible. I mean, look at these beauties. How could you have a bad day when you're at the mermaid parade? It is just my favorite. So this is the look. I painted on some face stripes as well, and I had a beautiful necklace that I borrowed from my friend Emily, and I had such an amazing time posing on the beach and posing for all the photographers and meeting all the other mermaids. And at the end of the day, wig comes off, costume is trashed, and we start to get inspired for next year.